Bernie and I are volunteering at the Marine Training College here in Tarawa. We live and work in one of the 33 Kiribati atolls that stretch over 3,000 kilometres across the Pacific. We live in the capital, Tarawa. It's a beautiful place, but overcrowded, and many people are unemployed here. In fact, 50% of Kiribati people live below the, the poverty line. So we help to build capacity through mentoring staff, developing resources, as well as teaching English. To 17 to 30 year old men and women who are training to become seafarers. MTC provides one of the few opportunities for these young people to gain a qualification and a paying job. In my family we had to work hard and go out for a job in order to make things easy. As my parents are unemployed, and that's what we have to do. <laughs> we have to work hard. When I was in school in 2009, three years ago, one challenge that I was faced with was food. There was not enough food. But the cook did. At that time, we mixed up flour, and water, and sugar only. We step up together and make it like a porridge. And after it cooked, we had to sit together and eat it. So it was this bad, <laughs> but we had no choice. We had to register our name in our Highland Council, and then there will be a workshop, one week workshop conducted. And after completing a one week workshop, we had to see the written test. After that, I think we had to, we had a physical test. It was comprised into two parts. Climb up the rope. We have to climb the rope about five meters high. And we have to press up. Yeah, life here in MTC war is really good. Very different compared with life in the village. People in the village don't make use of time. And here time is important. In school we had English and maths. But right now here in MTC, we had different subjects like ship, ship handling and making ropes out to, to tie up the, the ship alongside the, the port. And you see it's more like a paradise to me because it is a gateway to success, to get a good job. As MTC provides a job opportunity for young people, for Kiribati. Uh, education, I think it has been important for me because as I attend school, it provided me, um, you know, uh, more qualification to get a chance here. For example, people in Kiribati are uneducated, but I think I'm the lucky one. That's why I educated and get a chance to join in TC. Yeah, some of my friends are uneducated. They are hanging over around in the, in the town. And for me, education can help me to get money, to get a good job. As i been educated, I know very well about the impact, what are the consequences and the, the positive impacts of education. So right now I'm very, very happy because I'm training here in DC. Oh, I have to send back the money I earn and save up a little, little amount of money just to send back a kid <laughs> instead of the other one. <laughs> but you have many family to look after. How many family do you have to look after? Is it ten? Ten. Ten people? Yeah. So you have to earn a lot of money, I think. Yeah, I think. <laughs> and I have to send back all the money I have. <laughs> yeah, I think it's story. Okay. I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>